Previously on New Zealand's Next Top Model. <laughs> Temperatures soared as the girls hit Phuket for a taste of international modelling. I think you're the most self-centred bitch I've ever met in my life. Maybe you should just shut a tie-inspired dress design saw Lara win 20 extra frames for the photo shoot. Oh. But in the end, an enormous co-star proved too much for our Hamilton schoolgirl. No, 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 that's not working. Go pack your bags. And Lara was sent packing. Five girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? Milk, please. Right. Two sugars, milk just right. If there's any random bubbles in it, I'll know you're spitting it and I'll <laughs> stab you. I have a thing about people spitting in my drinks. It's kind of weird, and I've always had it. <laughs> Before we showed up at Eliminations, we all thought Dakota was going home. Dakota was the definite one to go home. Dakota was nearly certain that she was going to be going home, and she had written out notes for all of us, like goodbye notes. Packing her bags to go back to the top model house. It's Dakota. And when Sarah read out Dakota's name, we were like, what the f Shame. I wasn't the next one to get eliminated. Obviously, it was Lara, not me. Dakota's still here because she wants this so much. She is certain she's going to win. Your teeth really get in the kitchen, you go get it. Go get I it. swear, if it's got one dribblet of spit in it, I will chuck the whole thing on your face. Yeah, what about it? Go get your teeth. My confidence is skyrocketing, like it gets bigger every day, every time I do well. I don't want it to end. I'm not drinking it, it's weird. Oh, God. Thanks, Courtney! Dakota's very pretty, but at the end of the day, it's not just about being pretty, it has to have personality as well. Simple girls, keep it clean, keep it beautiful. Love so. so. <laughs> keep it clean, keep it beautiful, keep it shaved. <laughs> <laughs> Next like five years, I hopefully have a degree in psychology. Oh. I just can't take you seriously. Who's a pretty girl? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like finish school and then go to uni and then do my thing as a side and then. Yeah, so it'll pay off your uni, yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to get like an old lady, like all ugly and wrinkly, and then you get oh. a job. Homeless. <laughs> what a <laughs> nice. <laughs> Homeless granny model. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have a backup plan, eh? <gasps> oh, oh my god! god. Today we were chilling up in the bedroom, and up comes Nahuya. I'm Nahuya Williams, and Sarah has sent me here today to have a chat to you guys. And I brought a friend with me. Hi! Oh my god. <laughs> She had a friend with her, which was Christabel, and we were all kind of a little bit starstruck, and we were like, wow, she's so beautiful and stuff. Christabel was the first ever winner of New Zealand's Next Top Model. <laughs> I hear you've just been to Thailand. So I've been a model for nearly 10 years now, and I spend about six months of the year away from home. And since I became New Zealand's next top model, I've been to New York and London and Sydney, so I too know a little bit about long distance travel. And how it can wreak havoc with your skin. So we're here today to give you a little top model tutorial on skincare. Let's go through to the bathroom. I'm gonna be the guinea pig. <laughs> So congratulations on making it to the top five. How have you been finding it? Hard work, good stuff. Yeah. yeah. You're really tired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but having fun at the same time. Yeah. 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 She seems like a real cool chick. She's actually real down to earth. So we're going to go through some pointers that we think are important for beautiful skin. It's really important that you guys all have like a routine, which you do every morning and every night, to clean your skin, because that was something that I didn't know when I came onto Top Model, and my skin was pretty shocking for a while there. 
Before the lesson, a lot of the girls probably didn't realise the importance of cleansing your skin day and night. How was the stress on your skin? Because I've been breaking out real bad on my forehead and it's stressed pimples. That happened to me as well, um, especially because you like start caking on the makeup every day. And also because I wasn't really washing my face properly every day. And so I would just make a special effort to like do this routine and then, yeah, hopefully your skin will improve after a while. Nivea have these gentle facial cleansing wipes, which I think are really cool because you can chuck them in your bag, you can use them straight after a shoot so that your skin is fresh and it can breathe. Now Christabel can show you how to take your makeup off. So they're obviously like a little bit damp already, so no water or anything needed. And yeah, just wipe it off. And as you can see, my face is coming off. You know? <laughs> How many of you go to sleep with your mascara on at night? Guilty. This stuff is especially for that, and I suggest you all use that. It's really important to get your mascara off each night before you go to sleep. So you just get your cotton pad, because it's nice and soft, and get it really wet with the makeup remover so that it comes off nice and easily. And then you just start up the top, nice and slowly, and underneath. And it's gone. So now that you've got rid of all your makeup, the next step is to cleanse your skin. So these two products, one for sensitive skin, which Christabel will use, mm -hmm. and one for oily skin. It's really important, girls, that you use the right cleanser for your skin type. I hated having awful skin just because it takes so much confidence out of you. Just put some of the product on your fingers. So that was really interesting and we learned a lot. Yeah, so that was cool. And just rub it in. set the emotions. And you rinse it off. And then you're done and you just dry your face. So then you're all clean and just tone and moisturise and you're all done. <laughs> so I hope you girls learnt something here today. Yeah, and just remember how important it is to wash your face every day. And good luck with good everything. Luck. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye bye. 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 Seeing the different things you can do and the different steps and the different like products they have for the different types of skin and stuff was real cool because now I know what to use and now I know what to do. Life in the house is really good. Um, it's pretty breezy. The only problem is Danny sometimes because sometimes she likes me, sometimes she doesn't. I want really big lipstick on this girl. Dakota's just trying to find your weakest point and she'll pick at it as much as possible to take it down. <laughs> it's gonna stain my face. Yes, it's real. But you look pretty. Living in the house with Danielle is living with a dog that's been beaten and you don't know if it's going to attack you or lick your hand. <laughs> she's like trying to stand tall above the rest of us and she's like giving everybody shit. I went on acid one day and went to the tattoo bar. <laughs> this is what I came out looking like. No, she's got a beautiful face and everything but everything else is a worry. <laughs> What model should give as good as she gets? Love, oh, Sarah. Sarah. Oh, what's that mean? The giving to the poor. Yeah, oh. that's what I mean. Maybe, maybe we're modelling for like maybe SPCA or something. Um, Unless it's a not... hospital tomorrow. How amazing would that be? Yeah. It's like definitely something about giving back. So yeah, maybe we are giving maybe all our giving goods back. kids at Starship Hospital. What is with you in Starship? I want to go to Starship Hospital, okay? I can send you there. <laughs> <laughs> We were in downtown Auckland and we walked up a wee alleyway into this beautiful old building. We were like wondering what we were going to do because we saw felts and pens and paper on five different desks. Hello. Good morning girls, lovely to see you back here in Auckland looking tanned and healthy. Now today we've got something a little bit different planned for you. A top model's career is often extremely rewarding and can be very lucrative. But the thing is with success comes responsibility. So supermodels all over the world have taken on various causes in order to give something back. So today what we want to do is we want to get each of you to invent your own charity. Awesome. We're going to give you one hour to create an eye-catching ad campaign. 
So that means we want a name, a slogan, and we want you to write a 15 second script for a TV commercial of which you will be the face. Yes. The girl that does the best job of selling this concept to our mystery judge. And that's me, yes. Is gonna win a fabulous dinner at a top Auckland restaurant courtesy of Nivea. Oh, wow. so I really want you to take this seriously because you have to feel this challenge. Because without passion, you are not going to be able to captivate your audience. Girls, your hour starts now. I have no idea who the mystery judge was. I think maybe like a fashion designer. So tell me about your charity. I thought that was her name. Mystery judge. I was like, is that really her name? What a weird... Her parents must be hippies. My name's Ursula Huffnagel from Chic Model Management. It's an idea that I came up with my cousin. Mm -hmm. She like wants to build eco houses and stuff. Right. Like that. Write down the key word. I think the undercover um, served a great purpose, which was to allow the girls to be themselves. So recycling. It's from that. <laughs> <laughs> My charity is about beating the statistic and help young Māori kids establish what they're good at. I think Dakota had great energy, and that's an important part of what today's challenge was about. I never paid attention to math class. I was too busy drawing in my box. Mm -hmm. And just like, if someone like tapped into that potential, maybe mm -hmm. like my path wouldn't have gone as bad as it did. Yes. And okay. Yeah. I was really actually looking really forward to the challenge when Chris told us what it was. I have been bullied in the past about my red hair. Redheads generally do get a hard time. I got a hard time, my mum gets a hard time, even sometimes my red haired chicken gets a hard time. <laughs> What have you done so far? I'm doing an abused kids charity organisation and I'm thinking of doing an ad campaign which encourages the public to donate clothes. I think it's really important to be able to do advertising campaigns as well as photo shoots and runway. If you want to be a top model, you can't be good at one thing and then terrible at another thing. OK, how are you going with your charity? I'm going very good. Um, I've got some good statistics and stuff, so I'm going to try and incorporate that. My topic was child poverty in Africa and focusing on the hunger part of that. If you can't sell your concept in two or three sentences, yep. it's too much. All right, girls, we've got 19 minutes to go, so it's not that long. Let's get into it. I think this challenge is a great opportunity and it gives us a bit of an insight into the girls' hearts, really. I'm scared it's going to be longer than 15 seconds. Why don't you read it to me? OK. Hello, my name is Elsie Jenkins. You can do your part by donating all of your unwanted clothes. Beat the statistic. There's quite a lot to get through, and I think most of them, you know, really applied themselves, and I was quite impressed. Oh, it's just 20 seconds. How good was that, though? I could just sell cookies. Your audience is right here, down the barrel. I felt really confident, and um, I was basically bouncing off the walls to do it. OK, Dakota, and action. The statistic is a group helping kids rocket at school by helping them stay motivated and focus on the big picture, their future. I couldn't look at Dakota when she did hers because I always think she's just taking the piss out of things. So jump on the website, tabu3.co.nz slash beat the statistic. <laughs> All right, it's cute. Yeah, I, you mean, you look, look, I think yeah. you did a great job. You, you look really so cute on film. It's not easy. Rule number one, don't choose a word like statistic. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, and action. New Zealand, known for its family violence and abuse. The Kahui twins and Nia Glassy are just a couple of many cases. Courtney's idea was strong. It was relevant. You can do your part by donating all of your unwanted clothes towards our charity organisation, Save Our Future. She did a great job remembering her lines, but it was just a bit flat. Visit our website and remember, you don't have to be an abused child to feel the pain. Yeah. She did well. Yeah, it was nice. Next. And three, two, one, action. Hello, I'm Elsa Jenkins. I have created this new charity called Real Redheads Unite. At first, when I saw Elsa's campaign and what she was going to talk about, I kind of took it as a joke. Anyone who has been bullied in the past can join. You will never be scared to share your story. By sharing your pain, you're helping minimise someone else's. I was like, OK, that actually has a deeper meaning. And she's actually going in and talking about the bullying side of that and how people make fun of things. Check out the website. Very good. I wanted to hear what I was ahead to say. I was captivated by the performance that she gave me on camera. OK, here we go, Michaela. Action. Being from Africa, I have experienced poverty all around me. 
This has made me passionate to change my country. She was coming across too stilted. I want to feel it more from your heart. That's why my charity, Heart for Africa, looks at... Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's why my charity, Heart for Africa, looks at feeding small families and small communities. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. You did well, don't Thanks. worry, you did well. It's really hard. Three, two, one, you're alive. Kia ora Tifano. a place. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just freaked myself out. Kia ora Tifano. A place to call home is a place to create memories. I think she just felt like a failure from the beginning and therefore decided she wouldn't put an effort into it. I thought this was something you were passionate about. I think I did give up after the first take. Like, I knew I wasn't going to win and I knew I was the worst one of the day. OK. Blah. All right, thanks, girls. That was a big effort. Quite a big job to take on to create this ad and to actually present it. And so our winner. Our winner, and I'm delighted to say, it's Elsa. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was really stoked and surprised to be the winner. I'm really looking forward to this amazing dinner. One thing though, we did actually think that you did a great job, Dakota. So we're going to send you both out to dinner. Oh, thank you so much. I was going to take her anyway. Were you? Oh, she's been feeling blue. Well, there you go. So you guys are going out to an amazing restaurant. Have a fantastic time. See you later. Well, I think, you know, the girls overall made a big effort. You know, it was quite a difficult ask. Once they know who our mystery judge is, I think they're going to be wishing they worked a lot harder. We went to this nice, nice restaurant called Clooney. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to go to the restaurant tonight because I want to go to a place where you don't have to do the dishes after you eat. Shionjiba. Dakota and me had a grand old night. It was fun. We just laughed a whole night through, pretty much. It was wicked. It was looks amazing. So did yours. I thought I was going to, like, show my family up and be ridiculously, like, stupid at this, like, really nice restaurant, but I did OK. We'd tip you, but we have no money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, hello. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Good day. Good. Thank you. Christabel came in with two of our desserts and then she passed a blue Nivea envelope and I opened it and I felt money. <laughs> Why are you crying? Oh my gosh. Count it out. How much is that? I counted it out and it was 500. Oh my god. I need to punch myself in the face to make sure this is real. <laughs> I was so happy for Elsa, but at the same time, I knew there was no constellation prize for that, so I'm sitting there eating my dessert, like, <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. That's, oh, congrats. That has made my lifetime. I would never expect something <laughs> so great to happen to me. with a blank canvas. Love, Love Sarah. Like a model's always a canvas, a blank canvas. Oh, body paint. Oh yeah, my I'm gosh. I am not planning to go naked with body oh paint. Oh my gosh. You'll still see my cellulite through the paint. Uh, oh my gosh. We got off the bus and we walked into the Garden of Eden and it was absolutely beautiful. There were birds chirping everywhere, toys and even chickens, my favourite. And we walked on in and we saw Chris. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Lovely to see you here at Eden Garden. Now, I believe the beautiful Nahuya Williams gave you lessons on makeup removal and skin care. So today we're going to put that to great use because we have something very special in store for you. With me is internationally renowned photographer David Shields. Morning, ladies. Hello. Hi. David has shot all over the world for magazines like Dazed and Confused, French Vogue. <laughs> also joining us is Yolanda Bartram. Yolanda is a world champion body painter and a special effects makeup designer. Welcome, Yolanda. Thank you, Chris. It's a pleasure to be here. We're going to turn you into some amazing creatures and we're going to place you into this beautiful landscape. Awesome. Wow. So the trick today will be not to be overwhelmed by the makeup and prosthetics. Keep me interested and keep it fashion. Let's get into it. Yeah. 
They gave us prosthetics to put on our faces and they gave us this little like plastic G-string to put on, these little nipple holders, it was kind of weird. I was really looking forward to be body painted, I have never had that experience before, but I was quite nervous simply because I felt a bit uneasy about my body. I am a bit wobblier than the other girls in some areas. I don't really like looking in the mirror. What I see is my fat, white, wobbly, silly lady ass. Every body is built differently. And that's what I keep trying to tell her and I just said to her, Elsa, the only thing that's big on you is your bottom lip and your big toe. I thought I was going to be completely naked and it's not like that, like you can hardly tell I'm naked. It may look strange that I'm like standing here just naked, but with all the paint and all the feathers I just feel like I'm fully clothed and I'm going to go to my high school reunion like this. I feel exposed. <laughs> <laughs> the end product for Courtney was amazing. I was like wow, like it actually looked like she was a bird. I felt very naked on set of my photo shoot, probably because I was. That's great. It's really important for me to get first photo. Like, I am determined because Danielle's got first picture four times. I've got it once. Beautiful. That's great. As if you're kind of, like, wary of, like, what are you looking at me for? David's a really good photographer. He constantly gives you good feedback and praise, which really boosts your confidence and makes you try harder. How are you feeling? Weird, yeah, I feel <laughs> naked. <laughs> Essentially, she had nothing on apart from the body paint, and she was confident, self-assured, and because of that, she got a, a fantastic picture. That's great. Very cool. Beautiful. Yeah, we got it. Oh, you did great. Awesome. Really, really great. Thank you. If somebody had told me what I was going to do before the competition, like being green paint and a giant forehead, I would have laughed and walked away. Just jump into there. I didn't feel exposed at all. Like, I didn't feel ashamed of anything. I actually like being naked, so... There. I like the movement. Beautiful, Danielle. I saw something in Danielle today that I have seen growing over the last couple of photo shoots. That's beautiful like this, Danielle. It's like somebody's coming into your territory. There's this air about her, this confidence that she walked onto set with. I could see she was really enjoying herself. I'm loving the confidence that you seem to have today. Yeah. It's just great. <laughs> she looked the best that I've seen her. That's it, you got it. Amazing. You did great. Thank you so much. That photo shoot was awesome. Each week I learn something new and that just adds to my CV of knowledge. The photo shoots are just getting better and better for me. Dakota, she really did look like a creature kind of crawling up the path. Hello there, how are you? She's got an unusual way, you know, about the way she carries herself and the way she is. So graceful, nothing too weird or sort of out there, OK? We don't want you to be some sort of weirdo creature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think for Dakota to be soft and graceful sort of runs against her personality type. Great. Drop the hand off the tree and sort of like... Uh... Sometimes she nails it, and I often wonder whether it's an accidental sort of photo that she finds. Allow your body to move as you do. Just work through the different things. Today I just wasn't sure, you know, she just was a bit kooky and a bit sort of odd and weird. Don't lean too far forward, just keep the back long though and straight. If the styling is that strong, she needs to be even more conscious about softening off her body. Drop them down just so they're beautiful. We got it. I'm confident I've got this. If I do get eliminated this week, then I have given it my absolute best and that's, yeah, all really I can do. I didn't have confidence when I first walked out. Blimey. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> I kind of was like, Wait, I need to show the photographer and Chris that I am confident, even if I do feel naked, even if this is outside my comfort zone. Well, really great. The last couple of photo shoots, Michaela has had some issues, you know. I was really excited about photographing Michaela and I was disappointed, to be honest. And today, I was actually nervous that this could have broken her. How are you feeling, Michaela? It's like an avatar. They've taught us to actually think about every aspect of our body. Beautiful, back to me now. Too easy, really. You have a really great understanding of your body. Really great. Yeah. That's a really good tip is to think about everything from your fingertips to your toes. That's beautiful. Really beautiful. She was open with her body language and her eyes were expressive. She was really aware of her body positioning. So she was getting fantastic shots because of the way she was angling her body. Just straighten the whole back up just a little. We got it. You did amazingly. Really, really great. The photo shoot was amazing. I had so much fun. It's probably my favourite photo shoot so far. Great. 
Elsa today in the makeup room was having some issues with confidence and just the fact that you could see her bum. You know, there's a professionalism about Elsa that we've talked about time and time again. That's gorgeous, like this. She wasn't concerned, she wasn't self-conscious. She did exactly what she was asked to do. Because if you're looking over the edge of the cliff there, that's beautiful. It was a hard ask for her, and she just got stuck in and did it. That's great, like that, Elsa. You know what? We got it. And that's made it nice and easy for me. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. The feedback was really positive, so I'm really glad. I think they did a great job. I was really, really proud of them all, you know. They were fantastic. the judges. Only four will continue on the hope of becoming New Zealand's next top model. Hello, Sarah. Depressing. It feels great. Now that I'm in the top five, like, I'm actually stoked that I made it this far. So I'm aiming for top two, and then top two I'll go for number one. I never thought I'd make it to top five, and my aim is to get to top three. I, I have been doing great, but I'm not doing excellent. I've never got first photo. And I sometimes feel like I'm trying my hardest, but I'm going nowhere. I also said that her photo shoot was average. Yeah. And we all said that ours was really good, so maybe her, but I don't want her to go home. No, She's awesome. Her, her Recently, ours has been like really unconfident about like the way she looks and stuff, but I think it's because Nelly isn't here anymore and like having Nelly kind of like in a way boosted her confidence. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard work, but it's so worth it and it's Sometimes you just need a wake-up call of how much you want this. Do you think you'll go home tomorrow? No. Mm. <laughs> no. Like, I feel I've deserved this. Like, from all the crap that God's put me through, and now I feel like it's my time to shine, and he's like, here, I'm gonna throw you a bone. I expect myself to see at least in the top three, and if I don't get it to the... Nah, who am I kidding? I want to be the top one. Hi, girls. Hi. Top five, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. We've tested you this week with an extreme photo shoot. We levelled the playing field with anonymity. We wanted to see who could become the blank canvas that a top model often must be. Here helping me judge you today is your photo shoot director, Mr Chris Sisarich. Hi, girls. Hi. International model and runway coach, Colin Mathura Jeffrey. Kia ora. <laughs> and girls, back at the beginning of this competition, Anna Fitzpatrick said to you, you should always be prepared. You never know if you're talking to a potential client. Girls, I'd like to introduce you to your mystery judge. This is Ursula Huffnagel from Chic Model Management. Hi. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi. I hope you put your best foot forward because you only had one chance to impress her. New Zealand's next top model will win representation with my agency, 62 Models, a one-year contract with CoverGirl, a six-page editorial with Clio magazine, your very own... Ford Fiesta. Fiesta. <laughs> your very own Ford Fiesta to drive, and our winner will fly to Los Angeles via Sydney, courtesy of Pacific Blue and V Australia, where you will meet again with Ursula Huffnagel of Chic Model Management and with Next Models LA. Girls, it's been a fantastic week. Let's get into your individual evaluations. Courtney. Hi. Hi, Courtney. How do you think you did in the commercial shoot? I think I needed to add more passion into my voice to really sell what I was saying. Should we have a look at it? Look at it. Oh, no. Yeah. New Zealand, known for its family violence and abuse. The Kahui twins and Ned Glassy are just a couple of many cases. But there is good news. You can do your part by donating all of your unwanted clothes towards our charity organisation, Save Our Future. It's just so simple to do your part. Visit our website and remember, you don't have to be an abused child to feel the pain. Fantastic message. Yeah. Shocking delivery. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard to watch that and, and feel that you believe what you were talking about. Yeah. Courtney, should we take a look at that photo? OK. Wow. Isn't that unbelievable? I was really impressed, Courtney. You were the first out, but you were really, really professional. And, you know, I couldn't see any sort of embarrassment or anything about the way you were. You were just really confident. It was amazing. It's an unusual expression. You know, you're, you're so colourful. You're a real tropical bird. You really do look like you've taken on the role 
congratulations. I think it's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Michaela. Hi. You had a good week? A mixed week, yeah. Um, I really like the charity thing, but I couldn't remember my lines and I kept like stopping and having to think about it. Let's take a look, Michaela. Being from Africa, I have experienced poverty all around me. I have seen people suffer and I have seen people starve. This has really made me passionate about changing my country. That is why my campaign, Heart for Africa, looks at feeding... Oh, I'm so sorry. It's OK, we'll cut it there. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, what does Africa need? Food, water and education, I reckon. Africa needs straightening irons. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a look how you look naked? <laughs> That's a really cool photo. David Shields said she knows how to move her body and he had so many photos to choose from. Well done. It's Thank fantastic. You. When I heard you were going to be blue, I thought you'd look like a smurf. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're sweet. But there ain't no smurf there. You're a real predator. You're hot. I'd love to be eaten alive by you there. <laughs> it's probably not my favourite, to be honest with you. I think it's, it's too laid back for me. It doesn't make any sense. Sorry. Thanks. Thank you. Dakota. Hello. Do you want to tell us what your cause was? Uh, my cause was beat the st beat the statistic. Beat the statistic. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I love that. I do love that title, though. I thought it was a really good title. It's just a pity that you couldn't say it. Shall we see how you portrayed that? Okay. Beat the statistic is a group helping kids rocket at school by helping them stay motivated and focus on the big picture, their future. This can't be possible without you. So, go on the website, tv3.co.nz slash beat the statistic and beat the statistic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beat the statistic is an important message. It's a wonderful message and it's a message someone might actually steal, but just too distracting. The arms were too much for me. Let's have a look at your photo. Cody, you've got abs. I know, they painted them on specially for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start off by telling you what David Shields said. He felt that you took direction as opposed to modelling naturally. When you do work in front of the camera, you're a bit erratic. You're not very graceful when you move from shot to shot. I'm not convinced by it. It actually looks to me like you just don't want to be there. I don't, I don't mind the photo. I think you look great. Paint on abs, I do that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a C plus for me. This time, it's not your attitude that's at fault. I think you just weren't good enough on the day. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Elsa. Hello. Talk to us about your charity. Yeah, it's just about bringing red heads together and just trying to overcome the abuse and horrible names. Are you kidding? What do they say? Oi, Ranga! Oi, you ugly ginga twin! And how does that make you feel? <laughs> Obviously really awful. I think that your message should go out to other people to pull their heads in, you know? Because if I heard someone abuse a redhead, it's like someone abusing an Indian. You know, I would just say, that's enough. And then I'd look for their flaw. <laughs> I'd slam them in the face with it. Oh. <laughs> Why are you upset? <laughs> I just feel like a joke. Shake it off. Shake it, shake it, shimmy, shimmy for Colin. <laughs> I was I thought that your message was quite quirky and it was fun and I, I loved your delivery. I thought you did a great job. Thank you. In fact, on the day, uh, the best job out of all of them, so there's no need for tears. We should check it out, really, shouldn't we? Probably, yeah. Mm. Action, Elsa. Hello, I'm Elsa Jenkins. I have created this new charity called Real Red Heads Unite. It's about bringing red heads together. Anyone who has been bullied in the past can join. You will never be scared to share your story. By sharing your pain, you're helping minimise someone else's. Check out the website. Mm. Well, that looked pretty good. Should we have a look at your photo? You know, Elsa, I would never take you to a sci-fi convention looking like that. They would eat you alive. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a pretty good commercial there, and you got a beautiful photo. Why was your week bad? Just my, um, really, um, low self-esteem. 
Where is this coming from? Because you won a challenge. I mean, where is this coming from? I don't know. I've always been really harsh on myself, and it's just really shown this week. Ooh. Part of our job is to find a girl that can cope in a modelling situation. And people do talk about bits and pieces and here and there. So you have to feel rock solid about yourself. No competition is worth eroding that. That is amazing, by the way. It's one of my favourite pictures. Thank you. And I will say this, you've brought a, a real fashion feel to that photo, which is a fantasy. Mm. Thanks, Elsa. Danielle. Did you enjoy your week? My commercial shoot was pretty shocking. How bad was it? Should we look? Bad, don't look. That bad? <laughs> okay. Go. <laughs> Kia ora te whanau. A place to call home is a place to create memories. And also, might I say, eat food. Have quality time with your family. So that's why I want to create the right homes for the right family. Mm. <laughs> Even if your delivery was a disaster, you didn't have a point. Mm. You kind of... It's, I freaked out. You did, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. And I swore, like, really loudly. Danielle, how was your photo shoot? It was awesome. I loved it. I had so much fun. Let's have a look at your photo. Oh, mm. wow. Whoa. It is very good. What I love, Danielle, is that you were so confident and you were really, really enjoying yourself. You know, you, I could just see that you just were in your element. David Shields said she was easy to shoot and she had tons to choose from. He said that you moved without thinking and that you communicated with them. You've had great feedback from your photo shoots lately, but being a top model means you need to be a more rounded character. I'm really concerned about the fact that you're being really strong in some areas and extremely weak in others. Yep. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks, girls. We need to talk about videos and stills. We've got a lot to think about. Five extraordinary photos. Four girls going back to the model house. Elsa. Well, you know, she was really nervous about bearing her bottom, as she was saying, but you'd, you'd never have known it. She's such a professional. I agree. What a great bottom. What a great shot. What's the point of having a beautiful bottom, though, if your confidence is vanishing? You know, all of the bottom part aside, facially, it's believable, and I think that's what we need to go by. Her confidence is ebbing, and that's a concern for me. Michaela. I loved the photo, and then you said that she looks casual. The context is just not correct. I mean, she's in the jungle and she looks like she should be lying on some French chaise lounge or something. It doesn't quite connect facially. It's not convincing. There's nothing there. You know, we've brought that up before about her face. Yeah, it's interesting that you say that because, you know, we've said that to Michaela time and time again. Mm. Courtney. I love it. And the way she's holding her head, I think she's very into the pose and into the role. What about the commercial? You know, there's got to be more oomph from her. That's what I would want. Whew. Danielle. Mm. Carnivorous. She looks amazing. She photographs fantastically and she constantly has, but, you know, her challenges have been disastrous. It's just that professionalism. We want someone who's well-rounded. The thing about Danielle is she is amazing and she's worthy, as we've all worked out, of the investment in her to be that top model. How much time have we got left? I mean, we've had 10 weeks. It still hasn't developed. That's a problem. Dakota. I'll say it out loud. Oh. I kind of liked her commercial. The fact she didn't get the line out, it's a problem. But I think that whole quirky thing that can be such a shambles in some areas just could almost work in that commercial mm. arena. What about in this one? No, I don't like that at all. I hate her hand on her body. To me, it's like pose number four in the model dictionary. There's actually potential there to do a lot of things. Mm. It's whether she can apply herself Focus. for long enough to master anything. Mm. Five photos, four girls going back to the model house. There are going to be tears. Five girls stand before me, and I'm holding four photos. You know the drill, girls. Someone's going home tonight. The first name I'm going to call, and still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model, is Courtney. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. So happy. <laughs> You've been very close to the top quite a few times now, but it's your turn today. 
Thanks. Congratulations. The next name I'm going to call is Michaela. Thank you. You look good in blue. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Two girls safe. Two photos left. We're already halfway there. The next name I'm going to call, and still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model, is Danielle. We need more than just a great photo. If this hadn't been so good, you wouldn't be standing here now. Fair enough. Congratulations. Thank you. Dakota, Elsa, come forward. Dakota, I've seen you here before. Elsa, I'm a little surprised to see you here today. I'm used to seeing you smile and present yourself as a happy, confident girl. And I'm not sure if that confidence is going because the stress is getting to you or if you just don't want to be here. Dakota, you've come a long way. But you let yourself down. Only one of you can stay in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model. And that girl is... Elsa. Congratulations. Thank you. Come here. I don't think I can watch you cry anymore. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, though. Can I say goodbye to your friends? So <laughs> I'm I've got nothing cool to say. <laughs> this feeling right now is just extreme pain of having something you wanted so bad just snatched right away from you <laughs> because you weren't good enough. <laughs> the girls the most. Something to remember me by. It was just more some checks. Oh, God. This is all right. They were really nice to me when I was addicted to them. But it was really cool to me. Yeah. I felt like it just came into this like a caterpillar and then I came out of it like a beautiful butterfly. But I just wanted to win and be New Zealand's next top model. It's been a major achievement to make it top five, but I didn't come here for fifth place. I came here for first place. There's no ribbon for fifth. Did the judges get it right? You decide. Who do you think should be New Zealand's next top model? Text your choice to 3330. Text costs 50 cents. Then visit tv3.co.nz to be part of the chat. And if you've missed an episode, catch up on demand. Coming up, the final four need to stop clowning around. No idea where we are. And use their wits to impress top designers in the Go See Challenge. We would book her definitely. Her walk was way too bouncy. We wouldn't book her for one way.